This is the Sam Pit. I'm your host, Sean Cole, and welcome to today's edition of the Pit Stop, where you, the pit crew, you are the real star of today's show as you know it so well. Merry Christmas to everybody out there. Merry Christmas, Bucho. I saw you uh, just chiming in. Merry Christmas, Kimber. Cranky Pants. Everybody here in the audience, thank you for being here. And, I, you know, I don't know what I was thinking with the calendar and my dates. I think I, I totally screwed everything up this week. Um, I had told everyone I was not going to do a show on Wednesday because it was Christmas. But, in fact, Christmas is tomorrow, not Wednesday. Um, but I've been telling everyone I'm not doing a show. Um, now, with that said, I am here today, which makes no sense at all other than to wish you guys a Merry Christmas. So I am glad for that. And I don't mind being here. There's literally very, very, very little to talk about in the world of sim racing, as you can imagine, because today is pretty much a holiday. So uh, what are your guys' Christmas wishes? Are you guys... Uh, I, I saw Greg. Greg got an early Christmas present, got his new wheel today. Are you guys expecting some sim racing hardware? Is uh, that the gift you asked for from your family? Or is that the present you had to secretly buy yourself behind uh, closed doors when nobody was looking to make sure you got yours Christmas? Uh, I look like Santa. Yes, by next year, I'll have the full Santa beard, I suppose. So uh, with all of my mistakes on the dates, a few other things that have gone wrong. So some apologies are in order. Uh, from me, so uh, I apologize to the patron guys, the Sim Pit Endurance team guys. I had set up a room that was going to start at 2 o'clock yesterday and run for 10 hours, just like I've been doing on Sundays, and I don't know what I did, but I must have clicked the wrong button, and I did not save it, and so despite setting it up, I didn't press the important purchase button or the con confirm button, but something went wrong, and uh, I didn't find out until much later because I was out and about. And so, unfortunately, that scheduled uh, practice didn't happen. Another part of my screwing up the dates was I had told everybody on the patron group that we are going to do a figure eight race tonight. And I have family at my house tonight. There's no way I can do anything tonight. So, uh, since I said I was going to do it, I will set up something for our normal Monday fun day time slot of 6 o'clock. So, today at 6 o'clock... My time, I will set up an event for Figure 8 at Irwindale for anybody who wants to do that uh, with the patron team. And then next Monday, we'll do the more official one since I think more people, including myself, will be available. So we'll have to do that twice. Also, I'm hoping that this Saturday, and I'll have to let you guys know on Friday, we can do some Wreckfest Christmas edition. Uh, I guess it would be New Year's edition if we wait till this Saturday. Uh, we'll talk about that and get that on the calendar. But there will not be a show on Wednesday. Wednesday I'm going to take off because I think there will be just very, very little news. And then Friday you will have the Pit Stop with Billy Strange and Sean Cole. So you'll have the extra uh, detailed version of the Pit Stop. So anyway, that catches you up on most of the things going on. My apologies and my, uh, once again, Merry Christmas to everybody. So happy to have such a, a wonderful crew to hang out with on Christmas Eve. So what is going on in the world of sim racing? There are a few things worthy of talking about, I suppose. Yes, see, next Monday, I think that next Monday doing a Christmas Eve figure eight event will be awesome for everybody who doesn't have big New Year's Eve plans. I do not. I will be here at home. So I'm hoping to do some figure eight racing followed by some other general gaming and things like that. So Christmas, uh, uh, New Year's Eve figure eight racing is going to be pretty awesome. Everybody's welcome to my house. Come on down, Joa. Come on down. So, all right. What's going on in the news? Forza, they put out a, a an article on the 21st. So this was on Friday after the other show. But it was their year in review, 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 recap. And they just talked about the incredible year that they've had for both sides of the Forza franchise. Whether they're talking about Forza Horizon or Forza Motorsport, doesn't matter. Both of them have had very, very big years. The snow slows the cars down in Wreck Face Fest. That's even awesome. That totally makes it cool. Um, both Mondays are likely to be a conflicting schedule. Yes, and I think next Monday, as far as news go, I, I probably could take next Monday off. Um, but I do like the idea of uh, a fun edition of uh, Wreck Fest on New Year's Eve. That sounds fun. And we'll be doing it relatively early. Cool. Thank you very much. I, I'm glad to hear that. It was uh, something we've been working on and talking about. We were a little nervous uh, doing that. Billy and I, he's, uh, Qual was talking about the Sean and Billy edition of the Pit Stop on Fridays. And, and yes, we, we really, really enjoyed uh, doing that. And I think it'll continue to get a little better, you know, each time as we get more comfortable working together like that. So 
Anyway, uh, Forza talking about all the great things. They talk about their competition side. It's been the biggest year ever for Forza uh, Online Racing or Forza Esport, whatever you want to call it. Uh, all of the advances to both sides of the sim and all the deals and things that have gone on. So it's been a very big year from the, the side of Forza. And uh, hey, Wasted White Boy, how you doing? Um, picked up Forza Horizon 4. I've heard it's really good. I've heard really good things about Horizon 4. Haven't played it myself. Cool video out of Gran Turismo. It's, it came out on Friday. It's not really timely or anything that sensitive time-wise, uh, but it's a go behind the scenes as three of the fastest Nissan GT Sport drivers experience a trip of a lifetime to Japan, visiting Polyphony Digital Inc. headquarters and going for a ride on the wild side at Nismo Fest 18. Um, anyway, uh, one shot. Look at, uh, all, look at all the cool stuff. Did you see all those Tamiya models? Boom. Those are the, I mean, is this the stuff they're using for inspiration? Around the uh, around the Gran Turismo facility, the other thing that I thought was pretty notable was look at how many Logitech wheels they have. Boom! <laughs> would you like a Would you like a Logitech wheel? There you go. All right, so that was a cool video out of those guys. Um, a contest going on through Formula One. This isn't new news, but they reposted this on Friday as well. But they are giving doing that Fanatic uh, full Fanatic kit Codemasters giveaway. So at their Twitter feed, you'll see this link with the Fanatic wheel, and that will take you to their whole blog where there's a reminder, and this is going on till January 2nd, 12 p.m. January 2nd. So you guys need to uh, enter that. Perhaps you could uh, win yourself a Fanatic CSL Elite F1 set. Uh, don't forget about that one. If you haven't entered, you could make yourself a very late Christmas present. Merry Christmas! I see more Merry Christmas is going on. Merry Christmas, everybody. Christmas Eve to everybody. I have family coming in tonight. I'm super excited. Big family dinner. Uh, Christmas in the morning. That's always fun, except for it's like, it's Christmas 365. It's th it's Christmas 366 days of the year. We'll, we'll honor leap year as well. Uh, R-Factor. So I... Didn't get a chance. I, I, in full disclosure, I should have. I woulda, coulda, shoulda, uh, but I didn't uh, test out the GT3 Challengers pack. It is now live for R Factor 2. We talked about that whole buildup of the Porsche, the BMW, the Aston Martin, uh, the McLaren, all those cars. But they even went out of their norm and put out a press release. Uh, it, usually it's just their monthly, uh, monthly. Uh, what do they call it? Oh, come on, come on. What is their, uh, am I going to have to go back to news? Dang it, Sean. Their uh, roadmap. Come on, Cole. GT3 Challengers Pack. So this isn't a, month, uh, a roadmap. This is just specific to the GT3 Challengers Pack. Great looking logo. Awesome logo. Uh, all this has come out on R Factor 2 and is going to make some very cool racing on R Factor, R Factor 2. And I've been saying it for s some time now. Um... R Factor 2 is getting to that point. It has evolved from the day it released. And if you tried R Factor 2 when it first came out, you might have thought, eh, cool, whatever. I'm going to go back to what I've been normally doing. And now with the amount of development, with the amount of content, with the amount of updates, patches, fixes, everything that's been done to R Factor 2, the, the addition of Studio 9, 397, which has had a huge impact, R Factor 2 is a prime time sim. If it's not in your library, don't go into 2019 without it. Uh, if you think of yourself as a sim racer, you pat your, you know, and I, I'm not talking about what you play every day, but if you don't have this in your inventory, if this isn't in your arsenal, then you're definitely missing out on the world of sim racing. So, Project Cars, I like telling you about York Guides, and we were talking about snow all morning long in the Discord channel. Everyone's talking about snow. I'm talking about 74 degrees sunny days, go to the beach, that's my uh, Christmas. But uh, anyway, uh, people are talking about snow because it is tis the season, and Yorkie Guide is uh, racing in the snow. Snow and ice driving in Project Cars too. And again, I always point these out because um, anything that you can learn in one sim is going to be transferable. So when you're talking about driving guides, how-tos, all those kind of things, uh, you, you definitely can apply it. So even if Project Cars 2, the information given is going to be transferable. And I wish I did more how-tos, and I wish I had more time because I would. Um, is Cart Sim worth it? Cranky Pants asks. Um, 
you know, it wasn't a ton of money as an add-on, was it? So I don't think it was too much, and I expect more out of them. Um, P-Cars in... P-Cars 2 in VR is one of my favorite VR games, or driving sims, whatever you want to call it. Uh, all right, what else we have? Oh, look at that. Look at it. Sim pit on a widescreen. Gotta love it. Big time. Um, or on a projector screen, even cooler. Uh, sorry, a little distracted by things. But yeah, anyway, there is the Yorkie guide. Okay, so this next one. I talked about like them wanting you to have an online persona for eNASCAR Heat. 704 games, NASCAR Heat 3, their $100,000 eSports series that's going on. Um, so here's a video by the Earnhardts. It's Kelly and Dale Jr. Uh, talking about needing to have your own social media up to speed. And the reason I'm mentioning this and the reason I'm bringing this up and maybe I missed something in the articles and maybe one of you guys, maybe one of the pit crew have my back on this one and know what's going on. But um, it says how important using eNASCAR Heat, uh, hashtag eNASCAR Heat social media as your hashtag like tagging them is to getting drafted to in February. So I guess there's going to be a whole draft procedure going on, which means it might not just be leaderboard based. It might be online persona, marketability, and all the things that you know about real life racing may very well be coming to sim racing eSport now. It's not in the future. It's not a question of if. It's wow now. <laughs> wow now. All right, what else? Uh, this is just kind of an interesting thing this at gt planet f1 2019 mobile games will not be developed by codemasters so they're just handing it over they're saying you know what we're not going to bother with making the mobile version of our own game we're going to brand it we're going to put our name f1 2019 on it but uh we're going to hand it over to the company's name was bah, 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 hutch hutch games hutch is a mobile focused developer founded in 2011 some of their other titles are Hot Wheels Race Off, MMX Racing, and Smash Cops. That's who is now going to be doing the uh, version of F1 2019. So I guess Codemasters made F1 2018. I never played it. Never even heard if it was good or bad. I'm assuming they weren't happy with either the cost of development or the quality of the product or the response of the community or the time it took. But... They uh, apparently are just going to have Hutch Games to take care of the next one. And I guess, it, you know, you got to wonder how removed will it be. But does it even matter? We're talking mobile racing. Should I even be wasting my breath here on the show? Uh, Wreckfest is on a deal. So it's very rare to find a sale on Wreckfest, funny enough. But right now you can get it 33% off via Green Man Gaming. I don't know Green Man Gaming. This was sent in to me. But again, it is very, very rare to see a deal. 30 bucks for Wreckfest. If you don't have... I'm giving you guys your New Year's resolutions. These are the pre. Don't go to 2019 without owning Wreckfest. Uh, we play Wreckfest on average every other weekend, uh, Saturday mornings. And I usually make it available to the patron group. Well, it's always available to the patron group. Uh, but we always make it available to the few of our, you know, frequent viewers give out the password as well. So, uh, do not go into 2019 without Wreckfest. It is a very fun game. It's got a great single player mode. It'll keep you captivated. It is worth 30 bucks. Far more worth 30 bucks than a lot of things I've purchased. That's for sure. Um, actually we're coming to the end of the show, but no surprise. Like I said, we're here on Christmas Eve. A Monday on a holiday week, there is very little news in the world of sim racing. So uh, what do I want to talk about? One of my fantasies in life has always been to build a computer in something. You know, the case of a computer, there's no rocket science between a, behind a computer case. It needs to hold all the gear and it needs to create airflow from one side to the other. That's basically intake and exhaust. Those are the key principles, the ability to mount all your components and things like that. Um, you would think, I can't even get a hold of the people from Wreckfest. That's what's funny about it is you would think that they should give me some things. They should show the Sim Pit some love, but they don't. But, I, you know, I'm just totally, I'll, I'll hit them up again, maybe with THQ Nordic. 
who knows. Um, but anyway, back to my topic. I don't know if you remember, uh, there was that BBS wheel that uh, one of the computer companies had built a computer inside of the, the, the BBS rim. It was really cool. I love the idea of computers being built in things that are not uh, paid for computer case and it's been my fantasy to do something like that I've just never gotten around to it wonder if any of you guys have what are your great ideas what would make a great enclosure for a computer and the reason I bring this up is well here was uh, uh, K3V1NO123's version of what you can build a computer in so he took a water jug you know typical water you know could the the water cooler jug and uh, opened it up and installed all of his computer parts. You can see the motherboard laying there in the side, on off button on the cap. Doesn't look like it'd be optimal for cooling. I would probably do more on the cooling side of things. And I don't think I'd want something that rolls away so easily, but it did make me smile. The other thing that made me smile looking at this picture is how old is it? All right, let's, how old is this picture? And there is at least one dead giveaway to the date and era of this photo. This is nothing new. But look at that monitor. Look at that 50 pound, what, are, what do they call those, CRTs? Isn't that what those are? Well, it's been so long. Water cooled, there you go. Well played, Joa. Well played. So anyway, um, other than my fun joke there on the water cooler i want to make some congratulations so yesterday we did finish up the sin pit global mx5 championship it was a he man this was a an incredible season this last season was just amazing and i want to congratulate everybody who raced with us because we had a lot of fun each sunday at noon and it was just one of the best most intense fun cutthroat seasons ever and in the end David Clymer, who really did have the championship all sealed up, was not able to make it. He got called into work on an emergency, wasn't able to make the final race, and without those points, George Sandman won the right season. So congratulations to George Sandman, 451 points. David Clymer finished in second, and Nico Roman finished in third. So great job by those three, Chris Bassett in fourth, and David Payne in fifth. So Really, really fun season, and we're going to have details on our next Sim Pit series on iRacing. It's going to start in the next two weeks, and it will be available to everybody. Uh, so that's not just a patron thing. It'll be for everybody. So that'll be coming up. That is it. That's all I've got for today. We only made, we didn't even make 20 minutes, so too bad we couldn't make it longer. Too bad there wasn't more to talk about, but at least we, I got to be here to wish you guys a Merry Christmas. Again, no show on Wednesday. But we will be here Friday with the strange edition of the Pit Stop with Billy Strange and Sean Cole on the Pit Stop Friday. Getting a little more in-depth on our topics and bring up maybe some New Year resolutions. Who knows what we're going to talk about. But that'll be coming up. And I already got, told you guys what's going on for next week. So look out for some emails if you're part of the patron group about what's going on in the next few days. Uh, let me check that real quick. That may, might be pertinent to the show. Um... Sandman, oh my god, George Sandman, thank you, Brandon. I'm so lucky I have my watch box for some reason. Restream didn't show me that. George Sandman, our champ, the champion George Sandman with a big, big donation. Thank you very much. Merry Christmas to you, George, and very, very appreciated. Uh, and it'll go a long way. We're trying to build up another computer so we can have our, uh, my dream is to have my VR motion rig and then my static triple screen ready to race rig. Anyway, that's what's in the works. So every time anybody makes any kind of donation, that's what's going on in the background. We're saving up for that. We got our water jug in the background filling up with donations until we can buy ourselves a new computer. Anyway, Merry Christmas to everybody. Thank you so much for being part of my family, being part of the pit crew and making it fun to talk about sim racing news each and every day. This is the Sim Pit. I'm Sean Cole and I'll see you on the track.